things that that happened from Daniel interpreting this dream. He was released out of out of prison. He had um, the king gave him riches upon riches uh, and made him king, made him head, not king, but head of the entire province of Babylon. So um, he was head of all the wise men in the country and everything. So um, he was he was claimed to have um, the a spirit of excellence, a spirit of excellence. So I mean the holy the Holy Spirit was really really working in his life. Now look at like I say he was in prison, and look what happened, and and look what happened um, to this young pastor that um, was in prison. See, so the Holy Spirit works in very miraculous, miraculous ways. And see just how it just flows. And see how this happened in the man's life. Um, where now it's so many people in the church. And so many people have came and everything. So the Lord is really, really, really a blessing how holy spirit hallelujah 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 glory now we're gonna um talk about now how the holy spirit is a comforter i mentioned a comforter before a counselor now the holy spirit is a, a, a um comforter we know that while we talked about um Back a um, couple, I don't know, we talked about a little bit about touching on speaking in tongues and how the Holy Spirit, you don't know what to pray. Um, sometimes how you can talk in tongues. Let the Holy Spirit speak for you. Um, the Holy Spirit, um, he, he goes before you. He, he guides, He shields everything. Now we are here. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, saints. Hallelujah. Now we are talking about how the Holy Spirit is a comforter. John fourteen eighteen says, this is what Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. So, this is the promise that Jesus made to his disciples. He knew that once he left, that there would be difficult times ahead. He knew that there were difficult times that the people, his, his, his disciples, were going to face. He knew that it wasn't going to be easy. There were going to be people, circumstances, and events that were going to really try to break them. So, the Lord's people, they were going to need comfort when those attacks, satanic attacks, um, came upon them. From all sides is trying to crush their faith. He knew it. Jesus knew it. So he fulfilled this promise on the day of the Pentecost. By pouring out his own spirit on those who loved him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is a master comforter. He'll literally carry and strengthen you through difficult times. Yes, 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 yes. A situation or an event that will normally break you down, it'll no longer affect you as much. Once you receive the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. John fourteen twenty six. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. All things. Hallelujah. And we're just a little bit taking it a little bit slow. Um, the two scriptures that I quoted, um, feel free to write them down, play back, go through again and again. And, and again, once again, I said that um, I may in the future... Uh, put the put this all on a couple CDs and and distribute them somehow. Um, but that's uh, far far in the future. 
Um, depending on, I, I, you know, because we're still right here doing the series right here in this season. Hallelujah. 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 So, um, Holy Spirit again is comforter and life is going to still have its ups and downs, but the downs will no longer be as low as they used to be. See, no longer will be as low. You're not going to be as low. So the issues can be anything like, um, you have financial setbacks, the loss of your job, a breakup of relationship, or just issues in your marriage. So you're going to realize that the problems do not affect you as much. In spite of the turmoil that you are going through. Um, because you just you just feel that sense of calmness within you. You feel that sense of calmness within you. So everything that just seemed like so much, so much in the air in everything, I mean, you're just, you're just calm. You're just calm. Now I'm going to tell you about a prayer meeting, a story about a prayer meeting. Um, this prayer meeting consists of, um, a prayer intercessor and, um, it was a group of people. So this is how the, 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 the prayer meetings went. Um, first of all, everyone would get together, get around the prayer intercessor and pray for the prayer intercessor. And this, then they would break off individually and, and, and pray for um, each other. So um, this, this, this meeting, the prayer intercessor it was a woman, was a young woman about in her late 20s. And, and she was Holy Spirit filled. She loved the Lord. Hallelujah. So in this group, there was an elderly man. So the Holy Spirit came upon this elderly man, and um, he, the Holy Spirit told this man to approach this young lady, approach this prayer intercessor, um, and and relate to her this message. Well, the man, you know, he kind of thought again, and, and he said, wow, you know, he was a little hesitant. Holy Spirit, is this you? Is this you? And and Holy Spirit said, yes, yes, you know, gave him the okay, you know, to go ahead and approach this woman, approach this woman, and, um, you know, things will be revealed. But just, just go up to this woman as a father figure and approach her and tell her that you're sorry. Tell her that you're sorry. So slowly the man, he looked at the young woman, he walked up to her very slowly and tears began to come in his eyes. So he knelt down to this woman and he began to apologize to her and he apologized. I'm so sorry. He said, I'm so sorry for abandoning, abandoning you. He said, um, I love you. I love you. And, um. He just, he, he told her that he was pleased with her for growing up to, to being a beautiful young woman, um, that she is, has become and is, you know, is becoming. And he was pleased that, that her feet were finally planted on solid ground in the gospel. So he, he related this, um, to this prayer intercessor. And so the group was looking, the group was in awe and, and, um, it was just a very, very, um, emotional moment. So the young woman, she smiled at the man and the tears, the tears just start flowing down her, down her face, down her face. And so Afterwards, she told the man in, in the group, she said that she had been abandoned three times by quote-unquote fathers, fathers, father figures of fathers. And, and I mean, by, by the Holy Spirit just leading this man to come up and apologize like that, you know, um, um, as, her, as her father. As the fathers that all three abandoned, quote unquote fathers, abandoned this wonderful young lady. And so look at that, look at the relief, look at everything that happened because of this and the, the apology. And the group, I mean, was in tears and they were, they were touched and they were so thankful that how the way that God just just moved moved in 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 the the, the woman's life 
So, I mean, this is very, 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 very nice. And this, this message really, really comforted the young lady. The young lady, she was happy. She was happy. And um, this just gave her the comfort and the strength and everything that she needed in her life to go forward. You see, this is very, very wonderful. I mean, the Holy Spirit, this is an example of the comfort that the Holy Spirit will give. I mean, so, um, this is another story. I'm just giving examples and everything. So, we know that um, we're never alone. Um we know that Jesus himself is with us in sorrows and troubles. And so we just thank the Lord. We thank Jesus for his comfort and, and his presence. Um, Holy Spirit, we thank um, Jesus for asking the Father to send him. So um, we know um, that you will get tested. There will be problems. But the, the, the devil never sleeps. But we know that you grow so much and 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 you're blessed and your problems become just less because the Holy Spirit is there to just comfort you in whatever it is in whatever way that you need that comfort. Hallelujah. And 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 counsel and again about being a counselor, um we 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 have God um that personally just gives us counsel and again it's it's much better than anything that the world can ever give you much better than the world can ever give you so we just want to make it a habit to depend on God for advice and information on what to do and how to do it you know because a lot of people they 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 They'll, they'll go to the counselor or, you know, I need this counselor. I need this marriage counselor. I need, but have we went to God in prayer? Have we went to the heavenly father in prayer before we seek? Had that has the heavenly father led us, led us to go, to go to anyone in in counselors or whatever so we have to be careful we have to see where the lord leads us the lord will put people in our lives but again the holy spirit just guides us and lets us know uh what to do so we must stay close to god in prayer as to what to do and where to go and hallelujah let go and let god <laughs> now we're going to talk about the holy spirit being a guide the holy spirit is a guide in our lives that he knows God's will. He knows um, the plans for your life, the plans for your life. We know that the Holy Spirit is God. We know that we are Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, God in the flesh, Jesus Christ. We are all three in one that work together. So the Holy Spirit knows the wills and the plans in your life. Um, he's also aware of the things to come. And situations that you couldn't even possibly know that's that that that's coming and it's gonna happen in your life. So um he generally he's very gentle. He gent gently guides you, um, he gives you prompt he prompts you, um, but he never overrules your free will because you know that God gave us free will. So it's just truly a blessed experience just to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Write down John 16, 13, and it says, He will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. Wow, again, this is John 16, 13, 16, 13. So the Holy Spirit really, really guides you. He knows, he knows what's around the corner. He knows what you're about to face. The Holy Spirit knows we, this, this, what a fantastic guide, um, that we have. This is the Holy, Holy Spirit. So 
You know, he not only sends us out to do things, but he comes along with us. Comes along with us. As the scripture, God says, I go before you. 